Welcome to the short overview video of how to sign up for a Twitter account and what to do with that account once you've got one. Now the good thing about Twitter is once you're at twitter.com they're really keen to recruit so they make things fairly self-explanatory. So we'll just follow the prompts in the first instance here. So it's the old uh, what is your name, your email address, now you can use your student number or a Gmail account. I'm having to use a Gmail account on grounds that I have used up all my other official ANU addresses. The good thing about Gmail is that if you do want multiple accounts, the full stop can be placed anywhere and it still treats it as the same account. And password, they like you to have a reasonably secure account password so be smart about what you select. Follow the prompts, press the yellow button. Presto changeo, you are now uh, on the second page of the account creation. So the name, name looks great, thank you Twitter, you look pretty good yourself. Your email address, that's where your confirmation email will go. Password, okay. Your username, you've got opportunities and options to change it here. You do have a limited number of characters, so be a little bit careful about what you choose. Uh, you can rebrand later, but you probably want to pick a solid brand to start with. Uh, for the most part, you could use your staff or student numbers, uh, your U numbers here. Uh, fortunately, I've already used mine up on another account, so I can't demonstrate that to you now. If you do have pick a username that's already taken, it will suggest something else for you. Uh, I will now select the something else. If you're using your own computer, I would recommend the keep me signed in on this computer, it makes life a little easier. What I would also recommend switching off is the Taylor Twitter based on my recent website visits, that uh, is a market research tool at the moment. Switch it off in the first instance because you just wanted to use Twitter to explore and communicate you can switch it back on later and you can read up about it and see what what it does and how it works uh, the next step is obviously the hit the big yellow button again the correct alright now we're into the prompts and teaching section so it's going to step you through a series of instructions series of guides I'll give you a quick run through these as well but take your time go at your own pace first thing is this is the 140 characters uh, basically you're looking at short messages, quick questions, quick messages. So in the customization and setup, first thing they're asked you to do is build a timeline. It is sort of automatically adding people for you, uh, which is an interesting habit that it has developed. Uh, for my students, what you're looking for is the course accounts. So you put your course code in here, hit the search button, there you have it. It will sh show you the account, press follow, and you're connected. Now I will add all three course accounts that are live for us. I've already done that one, so I've really got to pay attention. There we have it, three accounts in. Uh, we also can make the ANU feel a bit better. And they have an ANU Media account. You can follow that. And basically an account of your choice after well, it's who you would want to choose to follow. Again, if you know someone who's on Twitter already, you know the handle, just type that in here. and there you have it, five followed. You don't have to follow five, you can uh, skip that step and uh, you don't have to follow straight up. I would recommend following the course account for the subject you're studying that's asked you to go and create the Twitter account. That just seems to be a really basic good starting point. So we can move to the next. I will suggest a series of famous people for you. It's up to you, you can skip that. I usually do. So we'll pass on this particular information. 
you can let it search your uh, inbox and email addresses it's up to you again I usually manually select so I'm going to skip the step as well uh, it is pretty secure pretty safe uh, they're pretty good about this Twitter understands very very clearly that they shouldn't mess around with your um, email addresses I mean they know Facebook on this respect so they are reasonably safe to do this but it's entirely up to you I'll be skipping at this point you have the opportunity to make your first customization which is to put in your bio statement and upload an image the image should be reflective of who you are it can be a photo of you or it can be something an icon or an image that represents you my personal Twitter account is managed under an, an icon that is a bouncing wildcat bobcat tabby cat which I think is probably a pretty good representation of me so I'm not expecting you to use a photo of yourself um, it's up to you what you want to put in there in your bio you basically can have a 160 characters to write up about yourself you may want to put in what subject that um, you're studying that brought you to here so Once you've got that in place and you're happy and you've got an image if you want to use one, hit the done button and there you have it. You're at the front page of your own personal Twitter account. Now that we have a Twitter account, it's time for a quick walk through the content, what's available and what's around the place so the first thing that you will see is that you've got your Twitter timeline this is the tweets section here of the content provided by the people who you're following now each of these comes with a particular note for being able to expand, directly reply, retweet or favorite so the basic way content and communication works on Twitter is you either say something through the compose new tweet section where you have 140 characters to work with Twitter when you're at the web page will keep track of how many characters you've got left um, and you get a little warning when you get close to the 140 limits changes color the once you hit that you said what you typed up what do you want to say hit tweet and that's it out into the real world your first tweet for what I've asked you to do with the subject which is basically either pass comments talk about the lectures talk to each other uh, if you want to pass comments that I can see by using the hashtag uh, now a hashtag is simply a single word that is follow that starts with the pound key or the hash key which is shift 3 on a standard keyboard so you can put this at the front or end of the message uh, it's up to you it's your preference so putting it at the end of the message and yes I'm aware that I'm heckling myself here uh, by putting this message in here I will be able to see that hash I'm tracking those particular hashtags uh, I will be able to see that message and even though I'm not necessarily following you I can reply to it or at least I know it's taking place so again we'll hit tweet on that so our second message is out to the world you'll note that on the timeline this is now underlined because it's now an active link if you click on this you'll be taken to the search page that can show you the active live links uh, for each of the hashtags now over here on the side you can see the, tw the trends which is basically the links that are uh, the things that are popular apparently Miley Cyrus is back in uh, business and the Justin Bieber team are kind of getting excitable so 
trends you can have a look at and explore by yourself. Again, think there's a market researcher. This is real-time market data. Heading back home here. The third thing with Twitter is being able to send a message to another Twitter user. Now, you can do this manually where you can see a message, so uh, kind of picking on the 302 or account this evening, that you can hit reply. Now, you'll see that the message starts with an at symbol and the account name. If you do this manual reply, you'll be able to see when you hit tweets, that a conversation has started. It's a very quick conversation, but when you expand the conversation, you can see the at, the backwards and forwards. This is particularly useful once you start getting a bit of conversation going, a bit of interaction going. You can start tracking, seeing who's involved. The thing I asked you to do was to sign up for an account and send me an at message. So if you pick your course account, as you note when you're typing up your uh, at message here, Twitter will look through your first 500 or so uh, followers, or the most recent 500 followers, depending on how many followers you have, and start trying to second guess. So as I'm typing in the MKTG 2.0, it's got two choices for me. It's trying to pick which of my accounts I'd want to, my people I'm following I'd want to talk to. We'll give market research a chat. Uh, Now, since it's a question or comment or directed to my account, you don't necessarily have to put in the hashtag if you don't want everyone else to see it, but uh, I'm trying to encourage good practice here. If you want other members of the course to be able to see this, put in the course hashtag. Of course, if you don't, feel free to leave it out. So the app messages are pretty straightforward. When you throw in an app message, you... Uh, again, because this isn't a conversation, it hasn't... Uh, there's no conversation to follow, so it's not letting uh, you do this in terms of you know, view conversation. When I respond through the 2001, you will then see the conversation start to occur. Now to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is using a Twitter account off to the side, uh, I'm going to send a message to the on-screen account. It's a very strange evening here as I keep sending messages to myself as I record this video. The second part of the Twitter page that you need to be aware of is the at connect section. Having sent a message to myself, here you can see the messages show up in the interactions of the at connect. Now, because I'm not following this account, I'm not seeing what's taking place. So it doesn't come up on this timeline, but it does come up in the connect uh, and will come up in the Twitter clients that you're using. The two things you need to be looking at, the first one is over here on this rather sort of generic icon. You are looking at the settings element, which is where you have the ability to change a lot of the functions in your account. Um, you've got the rebranding through the username, changing your email addresses, setting your time zones, uh, adding locations, tweeting, all these settings. It's worth working through this and systematically going through it. You can see that there are a lot of additional information. Uh, you may want to protect your tweets, lock your timeline, that's okay. Uh, if you do post something from a locked timeline and I'm not following you, I'm not going to necessarily see it. Um, if you post it on your timeline and put the hashtag in, I don't know if that's going to show up or not. So if you want it have a locked account and you want me to be able to respond to you, you're going to have to message me so I can follow you. So if you're locking it to avoid me seeing your content in your account, that may not work so well for you. At least you won't be able to um, interact with the course account. The second thing to point you to here is the lists. Now the lists 
as you're setting up and starting off you can add various you can use this for the management of uh, your followers so if you want to keep say you're in two classes that are using Twitter and you want to keep track of who's in what class, who's in both class, who's in your group, there's all sorts of different options you can do here. Uh, it can be a public or a private list. So I will just add one. So here uh, you note that you've also got little action buttons on the side here that let you uh, basically work with the account. If you click on the profile you can see that there's uh, the various options here. Tweet to, add or remove from lists, uh, kind of don't block or report for spam for my teaching accounts, that would be terribly poor form. Uh, you also have the option to turn off retweets or uh, and turn on mobile notifications, up to you. The final customization option in all this, the last thing I do want to point out to you is if at the end of this semester that you have decided enough's enough you don't want to keep Twitter anymore it's been great but it's not for you there is the deactivate my account button and basically this lets you extract yourself